Because I want to see more studios make big, bold films like this. I'll, I'll ask you this as a producer on this, uh, Margot. What was the key to convincing Mattel and Warner Brothers to not only give you the okay on this script, but also to give you guys creative control with your vision? I think my pitch in the green light meeting was the studios have prospered so much when they are brave enough to pair, when they pair a big idea with a visionary director. And then I gave a series of examples like dinosaurs and Spielberg, <laughs> uh, that and that, that and that, pretty much naming anything that's been, you know, incredible and made a ton of money for the studios over the years. And I was like, and now you've got Barbie and Greta Gerwig. And I think I told them they'd make a billion dollars. Um, which, uh, you know, maybe I was overselling, but we had a movie to make, okay? <laughs> As someone with a Jurassic Park tattoo, everything you just said made all do the you sense. Actually? Well, I do have one. I do have one. Well, it's kind of true. It. Can you imagine that first meeting? They're like, dinosaurs? I don't know. I mean, yeah, that might turn out kind of silly. And then, you know, here we are decades later being like, that's the greatest movie masterpiece, ever. Masterpiece, masterpiece. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, for you, what is something about Greta's approach to the work that you really appreciated and hope to experience on more films in the future? Well, like Greta's, in, you know, it's just, she's just such a brilliant person and such an inclusive person. And she's, you know, she's brilliant, but incapable of being pretentious. And she has this, uh, I think I, what I admire so much about her work is that she doesn't allow herself to sort of create a divide between drama and comedy, you know, and she kind of encourages everyone around her to do the same, you know, so you end up sort of, I think, mining places that are in the in-between. And it feels very, you know, specific to her, but also something that you can relate to because it's more like life. One last question for you, because I know when you originally signed on, you were not planning on playing Barbie. So who did you picture in that role? And then do you remember the moment where like you stood there and thought to yourself like, like, no, this was the right choice. This role is mine. Yeah, I didn't want whoever our director was going to be, Greta being the first choice, but, you know, if she had said no. But I didn't want our Greta, our director to feel pressured to put me in the role. So I was just really upfront about, like, I won't be offended in the slightest. Here's, like, we could go to anyone, you know, whatever story you want to tell and whoever you want that to be, I support that. Like, I don't... I've got skin in the game as a producer. I don't have skin in the game as an actor. So like, be free with that choice. And she was like, shut up. I want you to be, I want to write this for you. And I was like, you might feel pressured to say that. But, and we did that dance for a while. And then eventually I just accepted that she did want me to play the role. And, um, and, and then she wrote it and she wrote me in and she wrote Ryan in. And it was like, our names printed in the script from the get go. Barbie Margot, Ken Ryan Gosling, yeah. Strong vision, a yeah. strong vision that she Talk saw about through manifesting. to fruition. Yeah. I don't know how your movie exists and that makes me so happy to Good. be able to say right now, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.